What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and this is my SG Racing sequential shifter and handbrake combo. I ordered this off SG Racing's website. I was shopping around for a sequential shifter and uh, turned to Sim Racing Garage as I usually do when I'm shopping for Sim Racing hardware and uh, Barry Rowland had reviewed this SG Racing combo and uh, ordered it. it. Seemed like a great company and uh, yeah, happy to have it. It's a big big unit uh, 34 centimeters tall for the sequential shifter 36 centimeters tall for the handbrake it is massive it is strong uh, as far as I can tell all aluminum construction for most of the major parts and uh, it does have uh, hopefully you guys can see it I'll get some zoomed in pictures there uh, but it does have a little USB hub in the middle so the sequential shifter and the handbrake both uh, share this one USB connection which is really really handy uh, plug and play, plug it in, Windows finds it, registers it as SG Combo, and then you can go ahead and use your handbrake and sequential shifter. Um, something important here that uh, I noticed between this unit and what Barry Rowland reviewed, um, this one is not a, uh, what would you say, digital handbrake. This is an analog handbrake. His was either on or off. There's no sort of steps in between this one. Um, it's hard to do without having the, the handbrake mounted, uh, but it is linear. It does have a linear travel. So it looks like they've updated the unit since Barry did his review. Uh, but the shifter appears to be uh, the same as he reviewed. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It is a mighty click. I love the feeling of this. I've had some time. I put this on my rig right away just to test it out and uh, I've had some time with it and it's truly a fantastic unit, but it does come with uh, a cautionary tale because I actually broke my rig. It's so strong, uh, but we'll get into that a bit later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted and do some driving and we'll talk a little bit about my experience with the SG Racing uh, combo handbrake and sequential shifter kit and uh, then I will share my final thoughts at the end. All right guys so here we are in Dirt Rally 2.0 testing out the SG Racing combo kit. And yeah, this thing is just so satisfying. You guys are probably seeing a lot of movement in the shifter and handbrake. That is not the unit, that is actually my shifter plate that I damaged. Yeah, it, whoa! It is just such a satisfying feeling to shift with this. Oh man. I should have practiced more. But yeah, everything about this combo kit, honestly, feels so solid, so satisfying to shift with. Oh, a little fence action. Those ditches are brutal. And yeah, you just want to shift all day. It's, it's such a satisfying feeling. Ah, uh, man, I love this. I'm really happy I went with the SG. I know there's a lot of great competitors products out there. SG is by no means the only player 
but uh, I definitely would recommend you consider this for your next shifter or handbrake purchase. What a great feeling. What a great feeling. It's one of those that's so good, it makes you play sim racing more. Just about done the stage here. Yeah. I mean, what a what a brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. All right, guys, let's get into my final thoughts. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the SG Racing Handbrake and Sequential Shifter Combo Kit. Uh, overall, I love it. I think it's fantastic. What a great piece of kit. Uh, to break that down a little bit, uh, in the pros category for the SG Racing Combo Kit, I would definitely put the build quality. It's tough to sort of predict longevity, uh, but when you have something that has this much metal and, uh, you know, just appears so robust, feels so robust, uh, it's hard to imagine this thing ever breaking breaking down and uh, just sturdy top to bottom. Uh, the flex was much more in my rig than on the actual uh, shifter combo kit. So uh, extremely well built, definitely goes into the pros category. And also the uh, plug and play capabilities of this. Uh, I thought it, because they're a smaller company, I thought it might take a while. I might have to download some drivers, etc. But no, it was just plug in and go and it works fantastic. I tried it in a bunch of different Sims and it worked for each of them. So uh, well, done to SG Racing on that. And then the final thing is the just overall design philosophy of the combo kit. Um, it just appears to be a totally uncompromising, really well built, uh, purpose built piece of kit. And uh, you know, there's not a lot of frills, there's no plastic, there's no stickers, nothing. It's well, I guess there's a little nameplate on the bottom, but uh, overall, it's just very purpose built, and I like that. It's it's meant to do one thing, or in this case, two things handbrake and shifter, uh, but just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of kit, and I'm so so happy with it. Uh, in the neutral category, uh, the price so um, at 350 pounds for this combo kit. It's not cheap. It's not something that you would just immediately go out and buy and not think twice about. I don't think there's any miracles at this price point, frankly, um, but it's on par with some others that, uh, you know, like the Husing felt, I think probably if you added the uh, sequential shifter and the handbrake, it would come out to a similar total. Um, but again, it's not for everybody at 350 pounds. So I'm gonna put that in the neutral category. And also it obviously requires a strong rig. So I broke my rig uh, when I was testing this out. There was a weld that gave way on my GT track and uh, it's kind of flapping in the wind and I've had to make a temporary repair of that. Um, so it does require a strong rig and I'm putting that in the neutral category. If there was some sort of adjustability on the strength, that would be nice. But honestly, like I said, it's kind of an uncommon compromising piece of gear so I wouldn't expect them to have adjustability to meet the uh, sort of every man's needs um, so yeah the uh, requirement for a strong rig it, to me is in the neutral category and finally in the neutral category uh, the uh, grips here um, if you're used to working out at a gym, these are similar to barbell grips. Uh, probably most people are going to require gloves. I have big, stupid 20 years of construction hands, so I don't mind it, but I think most people would be more comfortable with gloves on. Um, there's no soft padding or anything like that on these grips. So uh, just be aware of that. 
and in the cons category, and I don't have much to say in the cons, uh, the first thing is that SG Racing does not have a web store. And for me, um, having studied business in school, one thing I have as sort of a philosophy is that it should never be difficult to give your money away. And uh, SG Racing, they were very polite, they were nice to speak to, but when you go to buy, it's a chat. And I would rather just have a web store where I can drag and drop this into my cart give them my credit card number and be off to the races. But um, yeah, that's not the case. They don't have a web store, so I would like to see them have a web store in the future. There's also on this little um, USB um, uh, hub here, there is no connectivity light. Definitely should have one. It'd be nice to see uh, that you have connected this to your computer successfully and that uh, data is transferring. Um, I know it's kind of a frill, but it would just be nice to have. I, I get it, like this is, again, this un uncompromised piece of kit and it's all black, but uh, some sort of, you know, subtle green or blue connectivity light would be nice. And finally, in the uh, con category for me, uh, the limited mounting options, you can see, just these two holes here that's really your only option you could take these out and separate your shifter and uh and handbrake um, from the base plate that's one way you could mount it you could just take the base plate right off but i think most of us would want to keep the base plate here and uh, keep that usb hub in the middle and when when you do that it's just got these two holes and it didn't fit my shifter plate correctly unfortunately and with something this big this strong uh, you definitely want that uh you know, different mounting options uh, to make it as strong as possible. So possibly if they built the uh, mounting plate a little bit larger than the footprint and gave us some more um, options for mounting it, it would be a good thing. But overall, guys, I, I really could hardly be more happy with this. It's so much fun. Yes, it broke my rig. It's that strong. Uh, so just buyer beware on that. Um, but now that I have even a temporary fix and, uh, you know, I'll get a friend to do the weld or something, but um, now that I even have the temporary fix, it's so much fun to shift with this thing. And uh, it's just one of those pieces of gear that's so much fun that it draws you into sim racing. You sim race for the purpose of your, using your new gear. So strong recommendation from me on the SG Racing uh, shifter combo kit, shifter and handbrake combo kit. So much fun, really well built, and uh, overall I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, this will be a permanent part of my rig from now on, and I just couldn't love it more. So well done to SG Racing, and thank you guys so much for watching.